Hey, this is Hobbs here. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm just going through uh, just some sort of evasion techniques and ways that I fly support. Um, I won't go through too much nitty gritty stuff just because it will probably uh, be too much and maybe I should split videos up if I'm going to do that. But basic things like targeting your attacker and that sort of stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to go through that part. Um, what I'm just going to start off with is that my, it's all about support, is all about being able to move and not run out of power. That's, that's the key to it, yeah? Um, my basic, I guess like, I would say that I'm boost gasping 95% of the time whenever I play this game, but it's, I guess it's not really boost gasping according to how Fenkar explains it, because I'm using slam engine, I can stay in uh, dead drifts a lot longer and not worry about any decay. That whole uh, way that he explains boost gasping and how to maintain that power. Anyway. Also, just before I get into that, the constant pattern that I'm doing is set so that I'm always shield skipping without even thinking about it, because that's just the pattern that I do all the time, so I'm always constantly shield skipping. Most people probably do it anyway, but I'll just go over it really quick. So just full power into engines, then you just quickly you, you tap weapons, just tap it, and then go straight to shields. And then on the way back, tap weapons straight to engines so you're just not giving weapons any love at all basically you're just trying to get past it as fast as you can i mean the slow version is just weapons shields weapons engines but we want to skip past uh weapons as fast as we can so it almost it almost doesn't even move boom and that's my basic my basic pattern that i'm doing so, what I've figured out is I go by sound and there is a beep that happens after you fully put all your power into um, engines. I don't think it happens if you just go straight from weapons. Oh, it does. Never mind. So, we might just do that. It'd be easier to detect because a lot of people can't hear this beep and especially if you've got comms going really loud and everything and you can't detect. I really just zero in on this beep. Um, it's like my lifeline. If I can't hear that beep, I'm probably going to die. But um, yeah, when it gets really noisy and everything like that. So I actually turned my Discord uh, down a little bit so I can focus more on this beep. But of course, you still want to hear your team. So anyway, um, I'm going to do a few examples of the beep because a lot of people just can't even hear it whenever I talk about it. So here we go. It's that beep. It's a da dun, I guess. That's the noise that it does. There it is again. There it is again. It's a da dun. I guess it's two beeps. Yeah, so you hear this one? It's just a single beep. This one, it's a da dun. That's the beep that you're listening for. Bum bum. Hopefully, you can hear that. So, when I'm flying, and I'm doing this pattern see sometimes you can't even like if you're turning hard enough uh, can I get it can I get this to happen uh, yeah if you're turning hard enough you can't even see it you can't even see that thing if you're going this way so let's see we've got full boost bar I'm gonna boost around like mad and you just sort of tune in and figure out when I'm pressing that always waiting for that beep before I boost again. I think that's the most important style of my play. There's the beep, and then I boost. I will not boost until I hear that beep. And you don't need to be any fancy flying to practice. I, like, I would really recommend just being in a custom and just practicing it flying straight. There's the beep, I go. Beep, time to time to boost. There's the beep, time to boost. I'm not gonna boost until I hear it. And as you can see, 
The bar, this bars have gone down, but I haven't run out of power. I could probably steadily keep it at two the whole time. It's not going to drop with this timing. See, always at two. I think I slow down to about 150. It's the slowest I get with this. So you still got decent speed. But yeah, how long have I been boost drifting now? And I'm still on two boost bars. So that's why I do it. Um, I used to get caught out though, because sure, when I've got like, my maneuverability style is a lot of the time I put all my power into shields and do some multi drifting maneuvering, but you can't do it all day because you'll slow down. So when people would usually catch me is when I put all my power into engines and I I can't change direction yet, right? I'm, so I'm in, a, I'm in a bit of a dead drift and that's where they can catch me. So what I'm doing to negate that is in between all of this, still keeping that same rule, I do not boost until I hear that beep. So I could be boost drift, multi drift, multi drift. I think I do about maximum three multi drifts, usually just two. One, two, then I switch over and I hear that beep and I boost. But just before that beep, I sneak in one more multi drift. So it's going to be a pretty, you're going to have slow speed to a multi drift with uh, all power into engines. It's not going to be very fast at all, but it's just going to put off their aim just enough for me to do my boost again to get back to normal. So for example here, one, two, then I sneak one more multi-drift in, boom. So you'll be able to see it easier if I'm orbiting this thing. So you'll notice, that you hear the beep, but I'm also getting one last multi-drift in when I switch power to engines. I'm still in shields, engines, one more multi-drift, there we go. There, see? One, two, in engines. One, oh, didn't get it in time. You gotta be quick because if you do it too late, there's not enough inertia for a multi drift to even happen. And again, I'm still not running out of power, and I'm pretty evasive this way. Don't have to stress about running out of power in crazy situations. So it's also, um, so like I said, 95% of the time, this is how I'm flying. Uh, if I'm on New Republic, I will help with uh, stripping shields. I used to do it on uh, Empire, but these days it's a little too risky and the cruisers have a lot more cover to dance around. So what I will do is when I'm coming in on an attack on New Republic, and I want to help strip these shields over here. I'll just get further back. I mean, this is probably a standard most people don't know about. But I'll come in on one side, and I'll do my normal pattern, but then I'll put it back all into weapons. Dead drift with everything into weapons. Do a little multi-drift, wait for that beep. And very important, I used to run out of power here all the time. To make sure you wait for that beep when you're doing that, even when you've got full power here. Doing this, ba 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 bam. Do another multi drift. One more in engines while you're doing that. So it'll actually it'll actually jolt you forward, so you're a little bit harder to hit as well. So I'm here one side. Dead drift, bam 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 bam. Then see how I changed direction. Oh, I did it. Waited too long. It's hard for me to do it and talk. I'm gonna try and do it without talking. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. And I got time to put that energy in. Without losing any of my boost power. I'll get that multi drift in, which gives me time. I got time to burn to leave my power into engines until I hear that beep. Very important to have one little multi drift in, or they're going to catch you. They're going to pick you off while you're waiting for that beep, because that's normally when you're the most vulnerable. And that's normally why people run out of power, because they're too scared to wait that long in a dead drift, or in a drift, 
until let the engines charge and then that's when they run out of power and they die anyway. One of my goals when practicing this was to, if I die, it's not going to die because I'm out of power. It's going to die because they got me. I don't, uh, the biggest pet hate of all support ships is when you're evading, evading, you're doing such a good job and, you, you, and then all of a sudden nothing left and that's when they get you. It sucks. So just for practicing under pressure, when you're out there, even if they're hitting you, don't worry about it. Let them hit you. You're still going to have way more of a chance surviving if you just keep to this pattern so that you have power in engines. If you boost a little bit extra just to avoid that fire, you're going to run out of boost, they're going to catch up to you, and you're going to die. Yeah. So that's all the rhythm stuff, and that's just a little bit of extra bonus with um, dead drift full power into weapons, and a quick little multi-drift to get out of that so that you have time to wait for that beep. Ah, yes, spiral. So um, this spiral that I do is really good for coming in on an attack on the MC or just a cruiser or anything, a frigate, but it's also really good for, I've actually been testing it and it seems to actually uh, dodge ICT. If it's just at least one ICT um, doing the spiral, I can actually start regenerating my shields and not get disabled. Problem is, it sends you flying in one direction and they chase you off, but that's good because you're wasting their time too. So the spiral, what I'm doing, is actually really simple. With the joystick, um, I'm pulling up and I'm putting, I guess, my joystick all the way to the bottom. Oh god. Intact. Ah, ah. I need safety. Alright. Okay. So, spiral. I guess it's a corkscrew, but I think it's different to any other corkscrew that people do because I don't think they. I use a multi drift corkscrew. I don't use a boost drift corkscrew. Or a combination. Um. So the way that I do it is with my joystick, I am i guess I'm pulling up, but really I'm just putting it all into the bottom left hand corner. So you got like, yeah, it's the bottom left hand corner. And I'm also twisting to my right, I guess. I'm twisting towards the right. So you're getting this kind of motion. So that's what I'm doing the whole time. So yeah, so I'm staying completely still. Um, pulling up, putting my joystick into the bottom left hand corner and then twisting to the right. That's the motion that I'm doing. Okay, and while I'm doing that, I'm doing that same rhythm, the exact same rhythm that we were talking about. So the best thing about it is that I'll have all my power in shields and it's hard to hit me like that so the chances are I'm going to get some uh, shield skipping happening too. And while I'm doing that, I'll do like maybe one or two, three. I'm just spamming multi-drift actually at that point. I'm just trying to do it as fast as I can so that I can dodge the ICT. But I'm still keeping in mind the rhythm, right? So I'm going bop, bop, bop. So what are we doing? I do the this and a multi-drift, multi-drift, multi-drift. And then I'll go back to here. I'll sneak in one more little multi-drift, wait for the beep, and I'll just rinse and repeat. So I'll just do an example of it now. And that's how you can do this forever. It's actually really good for getting away from the MC-75 when the, it's flipped and you have not noticed it. Always transferring shields to the back while it's happening. Oh, we got a crazy little... Oh my god. That's, that's a good test. This is an X-Wing that really wants to be dead. And I don't think this cruiser is going to help me. <laughs> is it dead? Oh, it helped me. Oh my god, that was a good test. That was a good test. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's how you do that. Um, there's another maneuver that I do as well. Um, if... Actually, there's two more. So, um, 
There's the spiral, which is good because if you're a pancake um, and you're getting, that'll most of the time get them all coming directly behind you, so it's harder for them to hit you. Uh, but sometimes uh, you don't want to do the spiral all the time. I mainly only do it uh, on my escape. But if I'm sort of staying in and I want to help people out or just change it up because, of course, it's the hardest way to not get hit is to be close to someone who's attacking you. And so sometimes I mix it up. I just go uh, being evasive and I'll just pull up and multi-drift. Pull up, multi-drift. Just do a few times like that. And because that gives me a chance to regen my shields too. And sometimes if I get dunked, it's harder to guess the trajectory that I'm getting at. So yeah, there's you know there's all the standard uh, movement as well. Like you're in boost drift and you really separate your drifts when you're just doing standard evasion. Like from here, for example, separate my drifts here. I don't want to spam it. I want to give it some time to. Oh, change direction. Mess around with just being really unpredictable, but don't just spam it because it does nothing. You gotta have like one to two second breaks in between. Yeah. So the other thing I do, here's a missile, I might even try and break the lock, is all I'm doing is putting my stick all the way to the right and I'm just doing one or two multi drifts and I'm keeping that same pattern that I do with everything so I can do it forever. So if there's a missile locking onto me, um, the way that I've been breaking it, and I'll have an example video after this that worked a few times uh, against IG, I think. But from here, boost drift, one, two, three, beep. Okay, two, three, beep. And this motion, if you're locked onto, uh, is been working really well for breaking locks. So as you can see, the key is keeping that Hobbs rhythm. <laughs> keeping the Hobbs rhythm in every evasion that you do, because then you just you never run out of power and you've got so many options. But yeah, that is how I'm breaking locks. Just putting my joystick. And you don't want to do it this way. I found that this way, I still get caught out, it still, still looks onto me. For some reason, if I'm doing it where I'm just full horizontal, the... Here we go, let's try it out. Uh, can I break it? And I've got unlimited power, I can do this all day. Hey, I did it. Oh, I only have one boost bar. So, that means that I was uh, panicking. I didn't get the pattern completely, I didn't wait for the beep. So, it's something to practice. Um, I'm going to leave it there, and just at the end of this video, I'm going to pop a little example of this in action, where we had a match with IG, and um, I don't think, yeah, I was on this same map, no cover, don't think I got hit, uh, don't think I got taken down, and it just sort of shows, uh, oh, and I don't think I ran out of power either, so probably better than what I was doing in this example. So yeah, I think that's what I've got, but... If um, you want to do any practice with me and go over this sort of stuff or any questions, just let me know. Come cool. close. Left. Come close. Uh, why are we? I am marking. I think I nuked the dump I'm with James Charles. Right. Dunk out. Dunked. He's in the clouds. Oh, so Good dunk. Nice. nice. Right side? Yeah. Right side, right side, yeah. Right side, hurt. Put it again. So when I say farm with us for now, on um, Empire. I'm not pressured, guys. I cannot go in. All good, all good. Don't worry about it. Locks out. Oh, what the fuck? I got a bail. Okay, shield her down. Nice, oh, pushing me all the way home. It's okay. 
Yeah, good damage here, good damage. The farm's coming through. We've got a 50, we got to work here. The burning raider, farm's coming, they're gonna get a raider flip, we gotta push, we're only 50. Fuck. 40. 34. Angry ops. Locks out. Right, push another, push another. A lot in range. Yep. I'm gonna keep working it down a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I'm pulling out. Right is that, right is that. Right is full, right is full. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Do you need a mark on those? Or? I might die here. Uh, I get a resupply help if it's possible. Maybe. Thank you. Out of phase done. Nice. Oh. What shit are gone? Looking at hot. It's my last resupply, I gotta go back. Two. Not that. Hot dunk. Stay high. Going strong. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Nice. Good job. Eight health. Pushing in. Right, I'm going to help take the resources. Watch that chili herd. I'm going to get Taurus in the game. I've really not desperate. Taurus? Yeah. Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Just turn. Taurus already just out. Getting good arm here. Pushing through here, yeah? Yeah, push. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Hey, it's set up, for, set up for defense, yeah. I need a resupply hog. Watch out there. Oh, I might just get to where it's first. Hold on, Corbett. The next time, Marky Corvette. Thank you. Dinner's cute out. I'm currently not detained. Oh, nearly got hard, nearly got hard. He's low. My pack. Hard hood. Oh, bad. Gonna disable him. Damn it, ran out of lasers. I knew that I was coming. Why didn't I evade it? Um, radar, radar burn, guys. Radar burn. Uh, I'll have to go over this way. No worries, buddy. Okay. Nice job, nice job. Nice 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 I've got no resupplies, we're just going in for this. Okay, guys. Sounds good. Double dunk in left. Go right. Yeah. Uh, destroy right, double dunk left. Double dunk left, copy. Uh, Hobbs, you're about to get done. I know, I'm trying I'm to beat it. I got it, I got out of it. Good job. Oh, maybe I'm at this one. Oh, I'm getting out of it. Yep, Mark's out, I did it. Good job. Alright, good luck, boys. I'm running home. One. Sounds good, sounds good. Field it down, guys. Let's get some big D again. Thanks, pal. Uh, Alright. Good job. Two weak points on the back. I'm down. Target. I'm down. Down. I'm destroying gens. Yep. Sounds good. Island damage. Raiders still up. They're not on it, guys. All right, go for it. Actually, go for it. We're gonna out of phase this, guys. We're going for out of phase. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do it. Keep on. Keep on it. Don't need to out of phase it. Yeah, we got out of phase it. Keep on it. Win we it. Win it. Let's go. Yes, we do. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Come on. We got it, guys. We got it. Yeah! Oh, Woo! Empire! That was the call. Love it. Oh, Love shit! It. You're watching that okay, snuffles Taurus, and Venus? Taurus. Thank you, 